Tuesday, tea time with Tawny today. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to change out the instrument of choice with a cup of tea. Hope you're all doing wonderful today and have started out your week productively and efficiently and you're enjoying some time in the sun as it's a beautiful day where I'm traveling today with my boyfriend's family. I thought it would be a great topic to talk about that very subject, traveling as an artist. And I have some family coming later on today, but I wanted to get started with this aspect of travel as it's it's so very exciting to get to travel, but when you add in the extra aspects of being creative and you don't just get to, you know, bring your guitar and show up to play out on the balcony for breakfast or something, you you have a few more aspects involved with the process. Um, and for recording, as most of you who record know, you need some sort of tripod or stand to put your recording device on. And the microphone aspect is a beautiful aspect, as normally with the French horn where I would place this would be better near the bell, but I didn't want to do adjusting in the process. And I just wanted you to get a sense of how the sound was with with an instrument added to it because it's such an incredible microphone and I don't know the justice I do just talking into it. And within that process, as you may or may not have seen last week, I talked about a couple of really amazing devices, which I now have, which is this wonderful Sentrance Record Anywhere device. And this device is so wonderful for many different reasons. And I'm still figuring it out, even the panning to the left and the right and how to hear yourself in both ears after you record in one microphone. But I'm getting an amazing sense of how, how much better this stuff works when you, when you have really good equipment, of course. And this wonderful, beautiful Aston microphone has just been a blessing to add to my sound uh, in when I'm trying to record. It really helps to capture that quality of a pure sound um, from that instrument. Now, some of the things you have to think about when you leave for stuff like this is all that you need to bring. And thankfully, you know, we do have the luxury of a vehicle, so we can put it all in our in our vehicle. But it's about a full day of planning just to bring what is necessary. And Then you add in whether or not you have a child, and and I happen to have a fur baby. Most of you have seen Booker. He has recently also just sprained his right knee on our last adventure. So that hasn't quite healed yet, and I had to request a couple of special things that normally I wouldn't have to request, such as no stairs in my room. And unfortunately, the first day they mistook that, and we had to go down a lot of stairs. (laughs) So alas, we were able to switch rooms, and that did add a little bit of a snag because of course you try not to unpack, but you're on this vacation where you really packed all this stuff to use it. So of course you cook your breakfast and your lunch and your dinner, which we pretty much did all of. And then we were able to move. And I feel so blessed that we did get to move because I have a bathtub. So cheers, cheers to that. Speaking of cheers, tea time today, I have two really great kinds of tea you can see behind me. And it's just a brand that I buy at the local grocery store. You can get it at Vaughn's or I'm sure Albertson's has it. I believe Trader Joe's has it. And I think Sprouts has it as well. These two flavors are uh, of a high liking to me as they're both really great for your body. And 
green tea, matcha green tea has a lot of antioxidants in it. And I just love that natural taste that it gives off. Mixing the three ginger tea to it just helps with the obviously digestion and just very nice and soothing feeling in your tummy. So if you can get your hands on a couple of boxes of this, and of course I add my raw organic unfiltered honey and whatever brand you choose is, is probably going to taste just as delicious in if it's natural, raw, unfiltered honey. So today we have a very exciting day planned as my boyfriend is not a musician, but he has written a, some lyrics to some songs and I have some really cool equipment that we're going to experiment with today. And for those of you who know, I live in an extremely small space. So for me to get a week in a large space with a balcony, the golf course in front of me, and the sound and the acoustics in this in this room, as you could obviously hear, is just wonderful. So I feel so lucky to do that. But we do have some drumming instruments and uh, some headphones and a soundboard, which you probably have seen in my splice video. We're going to experiment with that today. I'm going to probably sing some of the lyrics to his rap. And there's another song that we will have fun recording with. So this will be the first day I've actually gotten to really experiment with sort of making my own music. And I really am excited to let you know how that turns out. I'm sure I'll feature it at some point, depending on how happy we are with it. But this would definitely be a first. The artist I'm featuring this week, actually, you will find out about later on Friday, as you know, is a professional freelance instrumentalist whom has actually also done quite a bit of other talents in her career. So I'll get to share that with you. And that possibly involves singing, even though she's not a singer, as well as tap dancing, um, something that, you know, I know she's always loved and, and just dancing for fun and has taken many dance classes. So it just doesn't get better than that. And every day I'm inspired today, I would just really like to give a cheers and a shout out to Invested Musician. They have started this incredible master course, which I will link below for you if you'd like to register what will be included in their fall course and they've actually reached out to professional musicians and students of their current master course as well as freelance musicians what subjects or topics they should talk about in the future and today they have this wonderful panel with some top musicians in the world that are in professional symphony jobs and it was really neat to hear the questions and also the answers that these geniuses had to give. And they all started somewhere as well. So to get to hear their process of when they started, how they started, what, you know, encouraged them to, to audition and how they were able to get to that next level of winning an audition. There's really empowering stuff and information in all of that. And the process of a professional musician is so similar to that of an athlete or a lawyer or a doctor with the schooling and all of the studying and the practice and the consistent practice it takes is just golden and so inspiring. So our industry needs nothing more than this right now, which is why I'm here to connect the dots for you through Tea Time with Tawny and through discussion about life, love, and music. and. I really look forward to featuring my next artist. Thank you so much today and every day for joining me for this fabulous day. Uh, I really appreciate your subscription. Liking the videos is great, but also commenting on what you'd like to see more of. I would love to provide that for you. So thank you again for watching and subscribing, and we will talk to you soon. Cheers. Cheers.